Hello everyone, Mark from High Tech Legion. In this video we're going to be taking a look at a new app. No, I take that back. We're going to be like taking a look at the Thermaltake Tough Power Digital Power Supply with the DPS app for monitoring. We're going to go through what's inside the box, the cables that are included, uh, the look, the features, and then also the DPS app for controlling and monitoring uh, heat, amperage, voltage output, and pretty much everything that you would need to monitor when it comes to this power supply. So stay tuned. Okay, so we're going to start by taking a look at the box on the Thermaltake Tough Power DPS-G digital power supply with the DPS app. Right in the front here we can see the 7 year warranty, ERP ready. 80 plus gold, NVIDIA SLI ready, the fact that it is a digital power supply and has well ready, and this is the 850 watt unit that we're going to be taking a look at. Very nice design aesthetically on the box. We'll look at some of the features on the back here, Let's see if we can zoom in a little bit, and if we see up in the top left, the uniqueness and design, uh, the pure aesthetic outer chassis. So unparalleled aesthetic exterior design has set itself above other PSUs currently available on the market. So we can see that they, they, they're focused on functionality um, with the single 12 volt rail with the large capacitor with the 80 plus uh, gold rating, but they also focused on fun, uh, aesthetics, how this is going to look inside your chassis. Because a lot of people are concerned about that with a lot of case modding and things going on. So you have a great looking power, power supply. 80 plus gold certified, the app included, great functioning power supply as well. Here we can see the real-time performance monitor that is with the DPS app that we will take a look at that. The digital controller that is inside, if we look at our connectors here, we can see our 24 pin main connector, which of course there is one. We can see our 4 plus 4 pin 12 volt CPU connector, there's one of those. Our 4-pin peripheral, which is our Molex connector, there is 8 of those. One 4-pin floppy connector. Our 5-pin SATA connectors, there are 12 SATA connectors. And then there are 6 6 plus 2-pin PCIe connectors. If we look down here, our 12-volt rail is 70.83 amps for a total combined wattage of 849.96. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look inside the box see just exactly what thermal take has included and as we're opening up the box here the first thing you see here is the the top flap and it goes just a little bit more in depth into a couple of the features and a bunch of different languages for you to take a look at so when we open up the box here we see our little quick start guide plus our product warranty guide inside here we have of course our bag full of cables. We'll take a look at those in a moment. And then we have this very nice thick foam around the actual power supply unit itself. And the power supply unit is inside that thick foam and it also has this protective cover branded with the Thermaltake logo. Little sticker on the back that's removed. Kind of reminds me of uh, you know the parchment that they used to roll up, put a piece of wax and stamp on. So once we remove that we can see our power supply here and on the bottom the opposite side of the fan we have all of our ratings on our power supply we can see on the side of the power supply itself we have our Thermaltake Tough Power DPS G850 watt and our 80 plus gold branding so whether you have this power supply mounted with your fan pulling from the bottom of the case or with your fan pulling from inside the case you still get that nice branding on the side of the power supply, the nice black chassis with the nice glossy red strip going through it. On the back we have our switch and our connector for our power plug to go to the wall. On the top here we can see the nice gold grill with the TT logo right in the center of it there. So as they were talking about on the box, aesthetically it is a very clean power supply. Very nice looking. We can see fully modular our main connector here, 
peripheral and SATA connectors. PCI Express are red. CPU 8 pin is black here. And then our USB to connect to our USB header on our motherboard to get the readings through our DPS app. So very clean, fully modular, heavy unit. You can tell that the unit is uh, quality built. Um, if you've ever held a non-quality power supply, they're usually very lightweight. That's usually one thing that I can tell usually just from picking up a power supply, whether you know it has that weight to it or not. It is a 140, mil uh, 140 millimeter fan on the top there for cooling. And let's go ahead and take a look what's inside our little thermal tick accessory bag here. Here we have our power cord, we have our two rubber mounts, and also some zip ties. These rubber mounts go on the back of the power supply here. You can see that it's curved. They bring that to a square so that it can mount with your case, but it also gives some vibration dampening so that we don't pick up any vibration from a metal to metal connection. Here's our USB header to plug the power supply into the USB header for monitoring with our DPS app. And then inside another bag here, we have all of our connectors. So let's go ahead and get this opened up. Okay, now that we have that opened up, we'll go ahead and take a look at our, our cables here. They're not sleeved, but they're just very nice black cables. So instead of having sleeving that you might want to redo with you know rubber at the end here, not coming all the way to the end, they're just very sleek black cables. So you know if you didn't want to sleeve them, it's not like you have multicolored cables, something that's going to detract from the appearance inside your case. These could, you could get away without sleeving these. The focus would remain on your components inside and not, you know, a 24 pin that's bending over the, to plug into the top of the motherboard with multicolored cables on it. So here is our 24 pin connector, of course. Our two connectors that would plug into the power supply and the connector that would plug into the motherboard. It is not a 20 plus 4 pin. It is a solid 24 pin connector. Here again with our, this is our one of our Molex plugs. Again, black all the way from end to end, all the way down to the end that plugs into the power supply and to what you would be plugging into your peripherals. Our PCI Express connectors here are red, so they cannot be confused uh, with, you know, say the eight pin for your eight pin EPS on your motherboard. Each cable the solid eight pin will plug into your power supply end and then you have two six plus two on each cable for a total of six PCI Express six plus two ports. This is our little plug into Molex for our floppy connector. So if you don't have anything inside your case, this isn't connected already. You don't have to have this floating around. If you do have something that needs it, plug it into Molex and you have your floppy connector. Here's our 24 pin or our, not our 24 pin, our 8 pin EPS CPU power cable. Our SATA cables that are the same, all the way the nice black cabling, all the way down to the connectors. So we can see aesthetically uh, this power supply was designed to look very nice inside any case. Um, it is rather neutral colors with the gold and black. Uh, there is the red stripe, but of course these are the thermal tape colors. Very nice aesthetics on this unit. We're going to go ahead and uh, take a look at that DPS app. We're going to test this power supply uh, with uh, a digital volt voltmeter as well as uh, through some monitoring software if it lives up to its 80 plus gold certified name. And then we'll be back with our conclusion. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching our video review of the Thermaltake Tough Power DPSG 850 watt digital power supply with the included DPS app. Clearly we can see Thermaltake has covered the aesthetics. They have covered the functionality. It is 80 plus gold certified. It has the connections that you'll need to power any high end system, especially with a lot of the newer graphics cards and processors coming out using such less power. Uh, 850 watt is going to be the thousand watts that was a few years ago. This power supply is clearly capable of handling anything that you need. It's going to look great while doing it. Fully modular, certified, has the app for monitoring so you don't need special tools. Thermaltake has gone above and beyond with this. 
also including their seven year warranty. Truly a great unit. Because of that, because of all, of all the features, the functionality, and the performance that this power supply gave to us, this is going to receive the Editor's Choice Award from High Tech Legion. Make sure you go over to the HighTechLegion.com website for the full write, written review. Also, click right down here to subscribe to our YouTube channel to see our future upcoming video reviews. You can also follow us on Twitter at Twitter.com forward slash HighTechLegion and go over to Facebook, give us a like, Facebook.com forward slash HTL Reviews. Thanks for watching.